Greetings class of 2015. Now before you walk across that stage, grab your diploma, inflate a beach ball that will inevitably be confiscated, and wonder why on earth you're in an outfit, usually only worn by daytime television judges. Your good old Uncle Josh wishes to impart a few words of wisdom to you. <clears throat> you ready? Here we go. We will never have a perfect world, but it's not naive to work toward a better one. Did I come up with that quote? No, I did not. Did I read that quote yesterday on a Chipotle bag? Yes, I did. Do not judge me. Does knowing that cheapen the quote? Probably. Is guacamole still extra? Dang right it is. America. Get off my lawn. Get off that. Yeah. Let's start with some questions you're likely asking yourself as you prepare to graduate and go out there on your own. You know, some important questions such as, how will I be able to afford college? What if I can't find a job? What if I find a job I love, but that job hardly pays anything? What are the geopolitical ramifications of the SpongeBob movie? What if the fault isn't in our stars? The fault is in your stars. Now seriously, here are some questions that you're probably asking yourself. Am I really, really ready? And what if I don't have what it takes? Now, for most of us, myself included, when we look at a situation that's equal parts exciting, but kind of overwhelming, if we're honest, uh, and there are like a bunch of unknowns in that situation, in that thing, is sort of mental paralysis creeps up, as well as fear. You know, you, you clam up, you shut down, you get afraid, you feel helpless, you feel discouraged. The key, seriously, to moving forward and accomplishing the things in your life that are important to you is to identify the inevitable challenges that you're gonna face and come up with a game plan before, keyword, before, let's put it on the screen, Travis, before you're face to face with those challenges. Class of 2015, you must not shy away from challenges, but look them square in the face and decide in advance how you'll defeat them when they inevitably come for you. Challenges come for all of us. So to quote the philosophical findings of the award-winning TV show, Cops. <clears throat> bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do, what you gonna do when they come for? When life's challenges inevitably, don't take it personal, when they inevitably come for you, what you gonna do? Well, I wanna talk about two challenges that you will inevitably face as you go out there on your own and exactly how you can defeat them. Challenge number one, 10,000 hours. This fancy pants guy named Malcolm Gladwell that uh, grown-up types like to quote and talk about wrote a book called Outliers that studied people who were quite successful. Patronum. And Gladwell's main point is that uh, success requires extraordinary commitment. Throughout the book, he repeatedly mentions this 10,000 hour concept, claiming that the key to success in any field is, to a large extent, a matter of practicing a specific task, a specific thing for a total of 10,000 hours. Now, by that measurement, I'd like to pause right now, take a moment from my little pep talk here and say congratulations. Some of you are already an expert at things like refreshing Instagram, ignoring Adobe Acrobat updates, and hitting the skip button every time a Nickelback song comes on. You've gotta bank your 10,000 hours. You've gotta earn your 10,000 hours. Is that gonna be easy? Heck no. Look, life is not the Lego movie. Everything is not always awesome. Sometimes it's just difficult, repetitive, exhausting, frustrating work in order to earn success. First try. Opportunity is not gonna fall into your lap. You're gonna have to flex that muscle called hustle. And when you do such, you know, you're out there, you're trying, you're trying your best, you're all those sort of things your grandma always tells you to do. 
you're trying to bank your 10,000 hours from time to time, you're gonna fail. And listen to me, in that moment of failure, that, that moment right there, is when you determine whether or not long-term you're gonna be successful. Now when things are going great, now when things are going your way, now when things are pretty easy, breezy, beautiful, cover girl. When things are lousy, when you fail, when your ego is bruised and crushed and you feel humiliated, you feel like an imbecile and you feel like you don't have what it takes. In that moment, that's when you determine whether or not you're gonna be a success. Because every hour you log, whether it's a success, a failure, or something in between, counts towards your 10,000 hours. Just keep ticking on towards your 10,000 hours. See what I did there with the time and the ticking? First try. Challenge number two, your cheering section. I was speaking at this high school and this girl came up to me. She was real nice and she was like, hey, most of my friends uh, are excited for graduation, but if, if I'm honest, uh, I'm not that excited. You know, my friends, they got crowds of people there with like signs and glitter and air horns and these sorts of things. But I don't have any of that. I don't, I'm not gonna really have anyone at graduation. I don't really feel like anyone has my back. I mean, she said, you know, even though I'm a pretty good kid and a pretty good student, I don't really feel supported. I hear stuff like this all the time. Um, you'll never be like your brother. Or, well, that's not realistic for someone like you. Or, you're not gonna amount to anything. You're such an embarrassment. You're such a failure. You're such a screw up. <sighs> Any of that sound familiar to you? Now, obviously I don't know you, but I'd guess that from time to time, if you're honest, then you wouldn't admit it out loud, but if you're honest, from time to time, you don't feel all that special either. Because in your life, someone or something has told you, either directly or indirectly, that you are not worth that much. And you believe it. You might be like, man, I don't feel like I have a cheering section in life, let alone a stupid graduation. So maybe like me, you've been hurt. You've hurt others. You've made mistakes. You look back over your life, and even though you're only 18, you're like, man, I already have a laundry list of screw-ups and regrets and embarrassing idiotic things I've done. And you're sitting there thinking, well, you know, if I'm special or supposed to be successful or whatever, then why did all that happen? While I don't know the specifics of the, your pain, of those regrets, here's what I do know beyond a shadow of a doubt. Listen to me, you cannot and you will not succeed alone. You are going to have to hunt down a handful of people in your life who will support you for you which means the good of you, the bad of you, your awesome days, your terrible days, the days when you're thankful and appreciative, the days when you're just an absolute beast to be around. Because we all have those days. Now these people may not be the default people that you currently find in your day-to-day -day life, but you know deep down who these people are. People you look forward to being around. People who, when you're around them, you know, they challenge you, they encourage you, they make your spirit soar. They don't make you feel like an imbecile. They don't make you feel like an idiot. They, they make you ask questions like, what if and why not me and why couldn't I do that? They challenge you when you need it and they encourage you when you need it. Right now you're probably thinking of at least one person, you know, that, that coach, that teacher, that parent, that pastor, that grandma, that uncle, that friend. Listen to me, intentionally, routinely, those are the key words. This is not just gonna happen to you. You've gotta do this. Intentionally, routinely, surround yourself with those people. You are going to have to find those people, hunt them down, do whatever it takes, because this might be the most important work you can do in your life, creating a solid support system a support system. I don't care who you are, how bright you are, how talented you are, how fancy or clever you are. You need a support system because it is a protector and shield against discouragement, which we're all gonna face. So find those people, your people, and you take responsibility and intentionally create that support system that will remind you, you do indeed have what it takes when you inevitably as we all do this, begin to doubt yourself. Class of 2015, you're freaking awesome. 
And like Katy Perry riding in on that giant flaming orange Cheeto, <clears throat> I mean tiger, I want to hear you roar. Release the Kraken. I have a question for you. What is your number one piece of advice for the class of 2015? I don't care if you graduated in 1945, 2020, you've got something wise, important, interesting that you've learned through the course of your life. What would be your number one piece of advice to these lovely folks in the class of 2015? I don't know exactly where you're watching this, but if there's somewhere below that you can comment, please comment below with your number one piece of advice. Love Shark, if you're watching this, 